Antonio Langham. Off a of fake right, looks left, high intercepted. Antonio Langham picks it up, and he's gonna go the distance. George T. Antonio London was fantastic. Underneath, London is number 55. First name is Antonio, sir. A lot of guys who never got a lot of credit, a guy like Chris Donnelly, who was a safety that was just a phenomenal uh, football player. Great hit there by the safety. Tommy Johnson out there on the outside. From the 35, first down, Matthews makes it, keeps it, throws it. Solid hit. And Tommy Johnson at number 10, the nickelback. He's made some cracking good hits today. We forget Derek Oden. He's down with the 45. Run down by Derek Oden. Defensive lineman that can run, which is what everybody says separates the SEC to this day. For number 98, James Gregory, the nose tackle, getting that one. People would try to run sweeps and run wide on them, and they had so much speed. It was incredible how their linebackers could get outside, and, and you could not run wide on them. And that's why it's tough to work against that defense. Oh boy, do they get to the point of attack quickly. And what they did to Gino Toretta in the Sugar Bowl for the national championship. Pretty good protection. Down the middle, intercepted. They made a Heisman Trophy winner look like an also ran. They're down by 14. And Loretta intercepted by Teague. George Teague to the end zone. Touchdown. Now, if you go and you look at the trajectory of the future, maybe in the NFL, they all aren't stars. But as a college football team, I thought that defense was the best I've ever witnessed. Well, there you have it, the top 10 defenses in SEC football history. This is really a great list. I like this list a lot, but I do have a slight issue at the top. 92 was a great year for Alabama and Gene Stallings and Bill Oliver, the defensive coordinator, but I would probably move the 2011 Alabama team to that number one spot. That's one of the best, well, it is the best defense I've ever seen in SEC history. A couple other good defenses.